All right, fighthype.com, Ebro, Florida's own Jalen Phillips, the man fighting at 140 pounds. Uh, you guys might have seen him on the ESPN card against Abdullah Mason. Yeah, uh, man. But uh, Jalen, man, I see you got your gear still on, fresh yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, fresh Who out. Who are you working with today out here? I nice. work with the champ, the ex-champ, Mickey Bay. You know, he's getting ready for the Tevin Farmer fight, so I'm just trying to help my brother get ready for that, man. Is Mickey still as fast as he was, uh, you know, when we saw him as IBF champion? How, how do you see in sparring well, Like you say, man, if you take care of your body, you, you know, with with time, your body still it still holds in his his goodness. So yeah, he's still sharp, bro. Still sharp, still quick. It, it was great. It was great work, man. And I got to fight with the champ Roley tomorrow. So yeah, we coming to get them victories, man. How many rounds did you get in with Mick today? Oh, we did five rounds. Okay. Quick little five, nothing too much. It, on a scale of one to ten, what, what's the intensity in there? Oh, uh, scale of one to ten. So we both high class fighters. I say uh. For a regular guy that ain't on that level, probably would be a 10, but for us, it was about a 6, 7. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, have you, I, I know you mentioned sparring with Rolando. Have you already worked with him to get it in preparation? Yeah, we worked, we worked twice, but we worked yesterday. We're going to work again tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to help him out, get ready for the tank fight, man. If he, go, if he do what he needs to do, man, don't show no respect, he'll go in there and rip his head off. He'll beat him. Right. No so, doubt in my mind. So, you already sparred with him yesterday? Yeah, I sparred with him yesterday. So, you sparred three days in a row, man? Yeah, three days. That's what I do. That's what I'm, I'm made for. No, it was uh, Monday I sparred with my mid uh -huh. But that, I, sometimes I do spar every day of the week. But that's what I do. I'm jailing no plan fields. I'm trying to be the champ. I want to be what, the best, man. Is that is that kind of what you got to do when you're coming up and you got to be the hungry guy coming in through the back door? You got to get as much work as, as they offer. Or, or what would you say, Jalen? Me, personally, I believe if you ain't got it, because I don't have a long amateur extent. You know what I mean? I don't have that, that pedigree in amateurs. So I feel like if you ain't got that, that experience in amateurs, you got to get that experience through uh, through, uh, through sparring. What's up, bro? Oh, there he is. That's, that's the man. Hey, we talking with, we're talking about you, we're talking about the work. Hey, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. hey, does he punch hard, Jalen? Does he punch as hard oh, as they man. say? Dude, he punch hard. Made a motherfucker hit like a horse. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> what about um, the, the skills outside of the power, though? Is uh, got, that underrated or? or I think it's underrated, man. I think they they see all the knockouts and the wild fighting, but it's all it's all the science, man. Just because it look wild, don't mean it is wild. You know what I mean? You look it, at Billy the Kid, Billy the Kid like a, a criminal. But if you ain't watch his movie, his biography, he actually was a pretty good guy, you know. And some, you know, he was, he's an asshole, but he was also a pretty good guy in some aspects. We're smart. Yeah, he was but, he was a smart asshole. You know? But but <laughs> because it's like. It looks like sometimes with Roley, because people in the YouTube comments will be like, he got no skills, but it looks like there's a method to the madness. Like, yeah. he, he got some herky jerky, awkward timing. And uh -huh. what, what, what would you say being in the ring with him, Jalen? I feel like that's 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 the gym. You gotta have that in, that in that ring, man. You know, he got too many traditional guys. That shit boring. And, and, and anybody figure it out. If you just come in there with a jab, 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 we know what's gonna happen. You gotta have a little trickaroo, a little switcheroo in there. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, my dog Ben right here, he know, he know what it is. You got you to gotta have a little switch to room, man, because if you don't, it's going to be easy to figure it out. You got to have some tricky shit. That's how you catch you with the big shot. That, so I think it's a good thing. That's that, that Roy Jones, Florida, talking oh, to you. Oh, man. Tell you about yeah. it. The panhandle over here, baby. Roy Jones Jr. with the first, on the second. So, but but you met, you touched on it earlier, though. How do you see his fight going with Tank? Uh... I personally don't see it going distance. I don't think nobody can see that shit going to distance, man. Someone going, get knocked out. Going, yeah, somebody going to get knocked out. That's what I want to see. I ain't going to be, I ain't watching the fight to see no damn distance fight. I don't want to see somebody get knocked out. I want to see guts laying on the floor. <laughs> so I think, you know, you know, all bullshit aside, I think he goes six rounds. Did, did I hear you right earlier? But it sounded like you said he needs to go in there with no respect. No respect for him. You know, fuck all that tattoos he got. Fuck all that, that I kill you, this the street shit. Fuck all that. Go in there and do so. Make it happen. I can't wait to see what it's, it's an unpredictability to yeah, that fight, man. man. It's an unpredictability. I just can't wait to I get back in the ring. My last fight, my, when I fought at Dula Mason, he beat me fair and square. My last fight, they robbed me, but I'm training hard. I'm doing what I got to do. Next fight going to be a complete demolition job. I just can't, really, can't wait to get back in the ring, man, to show the boxing world who really the best is. Do you feel like you'll be able to get in there, you know, during springtime, or it'll have to be until summer? Me, personally, I feel good right now. Them, them five rounds, I ain't tired. I can go for 10 more. So uh, I feel like I hopefully, this is my manager, Armin Van Dam. And the so, owner of the gym, the great yeah. city boxing gym. What's up, Armin? How you guys doing, man? Yeah, good, man. man. Good. Yeah, so, so he, yeah hopefully uh, we'll be fighting either this month or next month. Whenever, yeah. whenever he stays, we're, sure, we're ready. We're ready. I ain't you know, worried about nothing. With the Abdullah fight, weren't they kind of... They were, I mean, they wound up going through with it, but weren't they kind of having second thoughts actually putting a kid in there like Abdullah with Jalen? 
uh, heading in? Uh, it was he, he was set up. I mean, he was set up from the get-go. And, and I, I can uh, Jalen was eager to get in there and they promised him something that they shouldn't have and that they put him in there. And he could have done it a lot better if they would have even helped him out. And that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Could have had a better training camp, yeah. but yeah. because you we, know, it is what it is. Uh, we went uh, like a month and a half later. We went to uh, Los Angeles. Yeah. He beat the kid, and then again got a got a got robbed. But I was, really I was bullshit. I was bullshit with my training. Yeah. I, I'm a man. I'm a man, so I got to own up to it. I bullshit with my training, and yeah. it, it's my fault. It's all on me because I should have been coming to the gym every day. It, it, it is so. It, but now it becomes shit. really obvious. Uh, that they building fighters, and and, and uh, my they all trying to hook ring us, and and it's just building fighters, you know, because the decisions you see, that they should never do that to your kid, man. It's up and coming. You all have your dreams, making a big. That kid, he did really well, man. That was a clear robbery. I yeah. mean, I wouldn't say that. I mean, everybody, when when you lose a fight, you're gonna say, okay, well, you know. You know, you thought you I won. thought I did better. Oh, yeah, you know, this, this was the hands down. down the, 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 kid, the kid even know he yeah. lost. But he dropped him in the last round. It's, yeah. it, it's just, it's sad. It's, yeah. it's, it's sad to see that the sport is heading that way. Yeah. We even saw it with Taylor and Catterall. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, even Taylor got robbed. So I mean, you, Catterall got robbed. So what happens at all levels? At all levels, the top and at the beginning. But what can we say, man? I learned my lesson. I'm like Marvin Hagler now. I'm knocking you out, period. I'm not playing those games no more, man. I'm going in there with an intent to knock you out because, like Coach said, the way the game is now, if you ain't the guy they want to win, they're going to give it to you if you don't go in there and completely destroy the guy. So that's how I'm training now, and that's how I'm coming. So now you. I'm, I'm knocking you out. Thank you hear you. that? You're fighting me, you get knocked out. So don't fight me unless you want to get knocked out. Yeah, and it's not how you, <laughs> it's not how you lose. It's how you get back into the game and, and make it happen for yourself. Thanks, Harmon. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Uh, Thanks, David.